moving right, right along into factoring special products. So this is going to take us back a little bit. <clears throat> if you remember earlier in this uh, chapter, we started talking about uh, multiplying products of, and to get um, special polynomials out of this, right? And so if you have something that looks like this, this is the one that we end up calling the difference of squares, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to expand this out. We'll just multiply these two binomials together. So we're going to take x and multiply it by x, and you get x squared. And we're going to take x and multiply it by 7, and we get plus 7x. We take negative 7 times x, and we get negative 7x. And negative 7 times 7 is negative 49. So if you remember how this ends up working, you end up with x squared. And then these two cancel each other out. And I get x squared minus 49. Okay? So remember, that's the difference of two squares. All right? Um, let's go ahead and let's do uh, <coughs> x plus 3 squared. So if you remember this, this is x plus 3 okay, times x plus 3. And then we're going to go ahead and multiply. x times x is x squared. And x times 3 is 3x. And 3 times x is 3x. And 3 times 3 is 9. And when we uh, simplify this, we get x squared plus 6x plus 9. Okay. And if you remember, the idea here was if you have x plus 3 squared, what you do is, remember, you take x squared, and you can take 3 squared, and you get 9. All right? And then remember, you do 2 times this number. So then it's 2 times this. Okay? Or what you're doing, really, is you're doing x times 3 times 2. And that gives you that middle one. Okay? So we actually did a little bit of this, this sort of reverse factoring, or this factoring, earlier in this chapter. Um, I was trying to set you guys up for success with this. So let's go ahead and take a look at one. We're going to go ahead and factor this. Well, if we look at this right away, we should look at this and say, OK, this is a perfect square, right? Because this is equal to y times y. And 16 is a perfect square. And it's a difference, right? So it's a difference of two perfect squares. So this is one where we can look and we say, oh, yeah, I can go ahead. I can do this. This is going to be x plus 4. I'm sorry, y plus 4 and y minus 4. So I just factored it, OK? And you can go ahead and test that. And you're going to do y times y is y squared. And you're going to get uh, negative 4y when you multiply this times here. And then you're going to get positive 4y. And you're going to get 4 times negative 4. You'll get negative 16, right? And these here, these cancel out. And you end up with y squared minus 16. OK. Next, let's take a look at another one. 25x squared minus 36. This is equal to 0. Now we're going to try solving this, and we're going to use it by factoring. So I'm going to look at this, and I'm going to say, OK, this is 25x squared. That's a perfect square, right? Because this would be 5x times 5x, right? right? 5x and then times 5x. And then this is 36, right? So that's 6 squared. And then it's going to be plus and minus. And then what I can do is I can say, OK, well, 5x minus 6 is equal to 0, or 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. And we'll go ahead and we'll solve. And we get 5x is equal to 6. So x is equal to 6 over 5, 6 fifths. Or 5x is equal to negative 6 divided by 5. And I get negative 6 fifths. Okay? So these two are the possible solutions. <laughs> Okay, It just gives you kind of a short way, um, a quick way of factoring it. Um, you just kind of look at it and recognize that, oh, this is a special product. Okay, This is something I can factor very easily. Let's go ahead and take a look at something like this. And I'm going to look at this and I'm going to say, OK, well, that's a perfect square. And this is a perfect square. Now is the middle of it, all right, if I take the square root of this, 6, and I multiply by 2, do I get this? And I do, right? 6 times 2 is 12. So let's try it. If we say x, OK, and this is a negative, so I know I'm going to have to do minus 6 squared equals 0, OK? And if I look at this, if I, let's real quick, x minus 6 and x minus 6, and we'll do x times x is x squared, and I get negative 6x 
minus 6x, and the negative 6 times negative 6 is positive 36, and I put it together and I get negative 12x plus 36. Yeah, it works, okay? So now I can say, well, x minus 6 is equal to 0, so x is equal to 6. Okay? And really, this solution works two times, right? It's 6 minus 6, and it's squared. So that's how you end up with <coughs> positive 6. Okay? And if you plugged it in that original equation, you'd see that it would work. All right, well, let's try another one. Oops. Okay. Let's do another one here. Okay, now watch. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can factor this out. All right, well, let's see. This is a perfect squared, right? So this would be 3x. And if this is 2, okay, the square root of 4, okay, so what I'm going to look at is I'm going to say, okay, well, is this times this, right? 3x times 2 is 6, and then times 2, does that equal that? It does. Well, it's going to have to be minus, so it's 3x minus 2 squared equals 0, okay? Again, remember the idea is when it's 3x minus 2 squared, this means let's say equals 0, 3x minus 2 times 3x minus 2, okay? And in fact, we're just factoring, so I'm going to eliminate this minus 0 part for right now, okay? And when you do this, you're going to get 3x times 3x is 9x squared, okay? Well, that works. That matches up here. And negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Well, that works. That's here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take this one, right? You're going to do 3 x times negative 2, and you're going to do negative 2 times 3x. So basically, you're taking this thing times that thing twice, right? So 3x times negative 2 is negative 6, and two, negative 2 times 3x is negative 6, so that's going to be negative 12x. So that's how it works, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and solve this. We've got it set up equal to 0, so I've got 3x. Whoa, sorry. The pen got a little jumpy on me there. So I got 3x. Wow, this pen. Sorry, it's being very sensitive. Let me see if I can get it to <coughs> lighten up. Okay, so I'm going to get 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. So 3x is equal to 2. Divide by 3, and I get x is equal to 2 thirds. Okay, there you have it. Looks good. And if you plug it in, you'll see it works because you'll get, um, um, well, you can plug it in. It will work, though. I don't want to spend the time doing that right now. What I do want you to do is I want you to go ahead and pause the video and you try doing both of these right now. Okay, hopefully you had a chance to do that. So the idea was I wanted you to try to do this by factoring, right? And what you can see here is this is a difference of squares, right? 4m squared, that's going to be 2m, right? And this is 36, the square root of that is 6. So I get 2m plus 6, and 2m minus 6 is equal to 0. So 2m plus 6 is equal to 0, or 2m minus 6 is equal to 0. So I get... Um, m is equal to 3, or m is equal to, oops, that should be negative 3, negative 3, or m is equal to positive 3, okay? There you have that one. Now let's take a look at this one. Now, there's really two ways you can do this right away, okay? Well, actually, no, there isn't two ways. This isn't a perfect square, but it looks like I can divide everything by 2, okay? So if I take out a 2 here, and I do g squared minus 10, g plus 25 is equal to 0. Now this interior part looks like a perfect square. So it's 2, right? g squared, square root of that is g. And if I, this will be 5. So 2 times 5 is going to be negative 10. So minus 5 squared equals 0, OK? So it <coughs> if I, um, the 2 kind of factors out, right? Because if you divide by 2, 0 divided by 2 is 0. Okay, and so then you're going to end up with g minus 5 is equal to 0. So then g is equal to 5. Okay, hopefully you got that. Um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the uh, entire lesson. That's uh, it's just really about practicing and recognizing your perfect squares. 
on difference of perfect squares. So why don't you go ahead and practice this. We've got 3 to 13 odd, 21 to 35 odd. Be prepared to come to class uh, with some questions, and uh, we'll go over this. We'll also go over the concept check that we, you guys took yesterday. So, okay, good luck.